Well, tomorrow, July 15th, is tax day. It's a delayed deadline because of the pandemic. If you still need more time, you can get an extension and file by October 15th. Joining me via Skype is tax attorney Travis Watkins. Travis, of course, is the man behind Travis Watkins Tax Resolution and Accounting. Thanks for joining us, Travis. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me today. You know, if you're a big procrastinator, a lot of people are, and you want to file an extension to October 15th, what is the downside to that? The downside is simply penalties and interest. A lot of people have the misconception that if they get an extension to file, that also means that they get an extension to pay. And that's just simply not the case. And how is this pandemic affecting refunds? Yeah, that's kind of a nice thing that, uh, that we've got going right now due to COVID is that if they owe you some amount of refund, then they will pay up to, I believe it's 5%. Uh, for the second quarter that they don't pay you and then it goes down to like three percent for the third quarter and it goes down and down from there but yes there is a downside to it which is that you have to report that windfall on your next year's tax return and pay may potentially have to pay some taxes on it now we're, we're hearing from people who say the irs website says their refund is, quote, in process. Are delays in refunds common right now? Everything thinks, seems like it's delayed because of the pandemic, but are you hearing that? Yes, they're just really just now starting to accept, they're really starting to get back to normal there at the IRS. They just started accepting paper filed returns, for instance, just very recently, like last week. So they're just catching up right now. They're admittedly behind the curve as it comes to paying people's refunds. That's why they're paying some interest on the refunds that are taking a little longer than normal. Big decision sure. by the U.S. Supreme Court. Will tax law change for the folks living in the area now considered tribal reservation by the U.S. Supreme Court? The McGurk decision that I think you're talking about yes. was the... Uh, United States Supreme Court that just came out last week leaves a lot of questions, obviously, as it relates to many things, including taxes. But yes, the, the potential dangers out there are that folks that are not members of Indian tribes could very well end up paying double taxes. In other words, they could be paying federal, state, local, as well as tribal taxes for purchases, for instance. As far as the uh, tribal members themselves, um, I, I don't know yet at this point if that's gonna be an issue. They will continue, I think, to work the state and, and the tribes together to come forward with some type of plan as it relates to state and local taxes because if, if you play this all the way out, it could be potentially very damaging. And I, I should point out that the, the state and the, and the tribes uh, have a long history of, of working out these types of things as it relates to taxes, and I don't expect that this will be any different. Travis, we appreciate you. Thank you very much for addressing these issues right now. Well, if you're a company or an individual, you can get help with tax questions and resolutions at TravisWatkins.com. Hey, we